just a little while. Right yeah. here, I hold the magic ticket. That's right. This, this is the magic ticket right here because this is the thing. These are the questions I'll be asking in just a little while of the one, the only, Mr. Nicholas Cage is going to be right there. Nick Cage. Hey. Folks, I, I love science. It has given us so many experimental discoveries. Penicillin, electricity, fruit with two O's. <laughs> they synthesize that at the Large Hadron Collider. And I like to bring you all the latest science news in my long-running segment. The Sound of Science. Hello, science, my old friend. People love it, Tom. People love it. <laughs> First up, new research suggests that the Earth's core seems to be surrounded by an enigmatic layer between the Earth's solid mantle and its scorching hot liquid outer core, a reason seismologists refer to as the first bite of French onion soup. <laughs> The new research suggests that previously we've thought of the area around the Earth's core as simple nested layers, but the zone is more of a geological aspic, being described as hot, rocky jello, or as it's known in the Midwest, salad. <laughs> Next up, sure, why not? Next up, according to new research, stressed plants make ultrasonic clicking noises, which researchers recorded by putting microphones next to living plants. Worst podcast ever. <laughs> the researchers found that plants emit a sound when they become dehydrated or infected or when they're cut. So the next time you mow the lawn, if you hear a million tiny screams, that's just <laughs> the grass begging for mercy as you dismember it. And if you hear one big scream, that's just you coping with the reality that you know this now. <laughs> next up. According to new data, after a lull because of COVID in recent months, sexually transmitted infections have spiked significantly across the Big Apple. Well, it's just like Sinatra's famous song. Start spreading the gonorrhea. <laughs> in order to stop the spread, the city is increasing testing by repurposing lab equipment used for COVID tests. Well, that's fine, as long as they don't also repurpose the testing sites. <laughs> Next. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a, wow. What a... Found the line. <laughs> Next up, according to new research, drunk mice sober up twice as fast when given a hormone injection. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Stuart Little can't afford another DUI. <laughs> Next up, scientists have discovered a leak in the bottom of the ocean of low salinity, mineral rich spring water that acts as sort of a tectonic lubricant. Tectonic lubricant is also much better than KY jellyfish. <laughs> According to the researchers, the fluid is coming straight from something called the Cascadia megathrust. <laughs> tectonic lube? Megathrust? Does it matter if we pollute the ocean? Because it's already so dirty. <laughs> Next up, there's some big paleontology news because Tyrannosaurus rex had lips, a new study suggests. Finally explains all those T-Rex skeletons found buried with a trumpet. <laughs> hey, that's for you, baby. That's for you, baby. That's for you. <laughs> Next up, scientists tried magic tricks on monkeys and discovered that the sleight of hand move being demonstrated here was more likely to fool them if the monkey had opposable thumbs. This is sure to be a big hit at the upcoming International Scientific Symposium of Stuff We Did Instead of Curing Cancer. <laughs> ooh, ooh, at 2 p.m., how to impress worms with juggling. <laughs> Next up, a lump of brown fur found deep in the Yukon Territory has been identified as a 30,000-year-old Ice Age squirrel. Wow, that's quite a turn for Scrat. <laughs> but I am excited for the new Ice Age 8. I thought there'd be more dignity in death. <laughs> Until next time, this has been... The Sound of Science. We'll be right back with Nicholas Cage.